DK Cloud. Um, I'm somewhat surprised he didn't opt for the Cloud Ditto. Maybe he's not confident enough in his Cloud just yet. However, his DK obviously is what Ricky is known for and has so much success in the past. Certainly. He has a lot of confidence with his character. He, although he feels like Cloud is certainly on the upper hand of this. He knows his percentages. He knows what he's able to do against this character. So it's going to be interesting to see how he tries to operate around Ralphie. Right, and I think this matchup certainly isn't as bad as many other matchups with mid-tiers and Cloud because DK has that huge grab range. Oh, and Ricky with the hardest of punishes and getting back to ledge as well, just barely. Great punish from Ricky. Limit side B, certainly not something that's easy to punish at all. And we saw a frame-perfect fair from Ricky to punish it. And it's situations like that that we really get to see why Donkey Kong doesn't struggle as badly against Cloud as many other mid or lower tier characters do because he has such massive kill potential. And if Cloud isn't careful, he's going to fall prey to it. Right, and here, really risky L smash coming out from Ralphie. And Ricky can take all the advantage of that. And the scariest um, spot to be against Ricky and Donkey Kong in general is in the air without a jump because DK's um, anti airs are some of the best in the game. And look at this damage differential right now. And look at the stock differential. Let's, Ricky G taking Let's game talk one. about anti airs. The DK punch being used as an anti Anti-air and ending Ralphie in two-stock fashion a minute and ten seconds, and that is one game in Ricky's favor. Now, this is one of the times where we get to see how volatile a match can truly get depending on who has control of the matchup. Ricky, glasses on. Maybe yep. some inspiration going on there. He's got the shades on. He's locked on for winners. He's aiming for grants today. Again, if he can have a repeat performance like that, absolutely looking great here against Ralphie. It's an excellent lead that he's got on Ralphie, and now it's just a matter of seeing if he can pick that lead back up in game two. And th where the matchup goes sour for DK, however, is when it comes to him landing and on the ledge. Because as we know, DK certainly one of, if not the worst character off the ledge in the game. And, um, and in the air, obviously, not a great at landing either. Maybe not the worst, but certainly um, on the bad half of the cast. Yeah, Donkey Kong's a big character. He's going to suffer a lot from characters that are able to quickly put out wide hitboxes just because it's going to be so easy to catch him. And you can already see that just from the percentage differential between the two of these players already. Right, but certainly not a, a game that's still in Ricky's reach here. Um, again, he, Ralphie, well, not quite in Ding Dong percent yet. Um, he could take a, quite a lot of damage from that. And again, he's out of it now. However, Ricky is so creative with when he gets that grab that he can end the stock even if he doesn't get the Ding Dong. Yes, yeah, certainly. Ricky is on that upper echelon of Donkey Kong players where just because they get a grab, you don't necessarily know what they're going to do. Now, sure, the Ding Dong is the optimal punish out of getting that grab, but there's so many other things that they can do, and especially with percentages this high and outside of the Ding Dong uh, kill zone, it's a matter of what they can do. Right, and I think uh, Ricky there kind of forced into a bad situation um, off stage. Um, however, right here, that's stock. That's it. He Ricky. doesn't have to worry about max rage, so he can just go right in and get it. Right, and even you, I've seen DKs in the past SD because they have so much rage and just get the thing done right afterwards. Ricky not one of those DKs, obviously. However, Ricky's um, combos off the... Off the... Oh, almost catching him there. Off the... Uh, Cargo up throw are absolutely incredible. I'm trying to mix up there with the donkey punch, not quite getting it. Um, I don't think he would have quite killed at that percent. I like what oh. he was doing though, oh. that he was oh. very patient. J Ralphie just came to ledge there. Oh, very risky over. down air. Ralphie has an excellent handle over how Cloud can maneuver, both within and out of um, the boost from having max limit. Right. And it's a difficult situation here. DK off ledge, good air dodge um, coming from uh, Ricky. Let's just get back on stage. Hover. Ooh. Footstool there. <laughs> I don't think that was intentional, however, still putting DK on ledge. <gasps> is that it? No, he's got the mix-up going, but nothing to come of it. Yeah, a grab here is absolutely a death for Cloud. With all this rate, good ledge gets the good ledge chomp into, into limit. limit. Again, it's gonna be a matter of can Ricky stay calm in this situation to keep Ralphie uh, in disadvantage as well as he's been doing, and to end those stocks early as he's been as he's been doing as well. Now, I've noticed that of Ralphie, we've seen a lot more formulaic play out of him. Now, he's one of the better clouds that we know from the city. Certainly, and, and one of the better clouds in New York in, in general. Definitely. Uh, one thing I've noticed he's integrated into his play a lot this evening, as opposed to in the past, is a lot of reverse Nair. Now, Nair as a whole is a very strong move on Cloud, and we're probably going to see a lot of it here in Game 3 in Town and City. But when you reverse it, the active hitboxes tend to linger a bit more because if you notice, Cloud swings the sword around himself. Right, and as, but uh, with that reverse Nair, and as well as the fair I saw earlier, he's crossing up DK shield a lot, not allowing him to get those easy grabs as he usually would from a uh, shield grab, let's say, on a Nair or a fair. 
He just puts out so much pressure that even though at high percentages, Ricky can turn the tables with one grab, that kind of pressure just adds up and allows him to maintain stage control, and that's where Cloud sits the most comfortable. Right, in a similar situation here. Great stall there from Ricky. However, still in disadvantage here. Again, Ricky is so is so um, tricky when he does, when he mixes up his, his recovery. DK, a character that has an exploitable recovery, however, Ricky making it look very good. However, right there, Rafi exploiting the exploitable part of that recovery. Yeah, there's only so many ways that you can mix up returning to stage with Donkey Kong. However, Donkey Kong Classic. As we've seen from Game 1, Ricky G is certainly not out of this match just yet. And he's dead. Yeah. Just like Town that. and City, even no spark there, still going to be able to take it because of Town and City's slow ceiling. Yeah, the smaller blast zones certainly help with getting those aerial kills. Oh, wow, great. The 9 wide Donkey Punch doing 29% <laughs> bringing you right back. You just figures just get him out with the call out. It's decent damage on deck. Again, and Ralphie almost a death percent to the ding dong here. Another look at again, 15 more percent. That up tilt almost doing it. Oh, just barely missing that grab on, Ra on Ralphie. That could have potentially been the stock. <gasps> That's gonna be it. <gasps> Rips for the back there. He wants the damage on. But I don't I wanna say that was a misinput, honestly. Um Either way, he's sitting with percentage advantage right now, and it's all a matter of if Ralphie can get in on him. Oh, great tech roll there from uh, Ricky, getting out of that situation. Again, he, when, Diggy, when Diggy's in disadvantage, especially in the air, that's, that's it! Ricky taking it! And he still have a strong fist bump from Ricky. That is the first time I believe he's ever been.